Starting from news channels to newspaper and social media, everywhere everyone is talking about the global economy crash and recession. Big tech companies are in big trouble. Nearly 130,000 people have been sacked this year worldwide. Why is this happening and what does the future hold? Kisi company se agar achanak 11,000 karmachari nikale jaye, to karmachari to dukhi honge hi. Lekin us company ke malik ko bhi dukh ho raha hai aur wo apni galti maan raha hai. Company hai Meta aur malik hai Mark Zuckerberg. Don't see big tech like Meta and Twitter sacking employees in large number and now it is not getting any easier because another addition to this list is Amazon, which is planning to sack thousands of employees this time in the company. War between Ukraine and Russia and the economic crash being faced by countries like UK and United States is being responsible for this current circumstance. But we are not going to discuss about the political or economical aspect of this current condition because I am definitely not an expert in that arena. But I was thinking that we should definitely talk about the condition of IT jobs within this phase of time and what could be a possible future for us. So without any further delay, let's roll the intro. So recently, lot of big tech companies started laying off people in bulk. I'm not naming any companies, but you're already aware that almost all the big tech product and service companies are laying off people and this has become a big news. But what could be the possible reason for that? You see, during pandemic, the market was on bull run and the share prices specifically for the IT companies were on all time high. A good rise in share price was observed with lot of top companies like TCS, Infosys and lot of other product based companies as well. And during this specific phase, lot of startup companies got well funded and they started hiring in bulk. If you remember specifically in the year of 2020 and 2021, there was a mass hiring going on. For all the different kind of job roles like software developer or web developer or data analytics, lot of people were getting placed and especially the startup companies were hiring aggressively. But post COVID, the situation started changing and market started falling down. Currently, due to the global economic crisis, the IT services or newly launched products are not performing that well and companies have been suffering some loss as well. But remember that investors have funded a lot of money to these startup companies to all the IT tech companies. And now the companies are in stress in order to return the profit back to the investors. And since the projects are not doing that well, this is why in order to do some cost cutting, companies are laying off people. And it is also logical because a company cannot simply keep paying you salary without getting out any productivity out of you. This is a major reason that the layoff or firing was going on. So evident by the historical data, after this current dip in global economic crisis and job crisis, soon we are also going to witness a rise in job requirement, hiring and economy growth as well. Companies will again start hiring with different type of job roles and more projects and work will start flowing in for the agencies or people who are offering their services. So clearly there is nothing to be panic around, but definitely you need to have some patience during this tough time. In fact, I will also not call it a tough time because specific in India, we are doing comparatively well. But if you're someone who is currently working in a job, then please avoid taking any kind of impulsive decision around your behavior at your workplace or if you're thinking of putting your papers down or resigning from your current company, please think mindfully around it if you have good options or not, if you have a solid backup plan or not. Because eventually, if you will have some patience for a few more months, then I'm pretty much sure that the situation will again start going back to normal and therefore I would definitely suggest that for coming three to four months definitely avoid taking any kind of impulsive decision in your career and try to be very stable and calm with your current position and job role. So whether during this recession or post recession, skilled people will always have an advantage. No matter if you are a software developer, a web developer or a data scientist, if you're good at what you do, then you will always be able to stand apart from the crowd. So till the time the situation is coming back to normal, I highly suggest that you brush up your skills as much as possible. Because once the situation is back to normal and this recession thing is over, skilled and confident people are going to get a lot of good opportunities and they will be hired very easily. Even if you're looking for a job change next year, I would suggest that you stay optimistic, keep working on your skill, on your projects, get yourself ready with a strong portfolio and I'm pretty sure that soon you will get the dream opportunity that you desire in your life. 
So this recession thing may continue around maybe somewhere between four to six months. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, but there are few things that definitely requires your attention that I would like to suggest to the viewers of this channel on a personal level. And first advice is for all the freshers who are aspiring to start their career in their desired field or domain. Please utilize this time to skill up yourself to work on some impressive project. There is one message that I always try to convey to the freshers that in terms of job experience, you may not have anything to showcase. But in terms of work experience, you should have a lot of things. And that one single thing can make you stand apart from the entire crowd of all the freshers. So please keep this thing in mind that use this time, utilize this phase in order to work on some really good projects that can help you land a job. My next advice is going to be for those people who have some job experience or who are already working under a job. Please try to become more and more efficient and proactive in your day to day responsibility in such a way that your company feels you and finds you very important. Try to become an individual that your company cannot afford to lose. You really need to have this mindset in this firing and layoff situation which is going on. You still have some advantage if you work for a reputated company who has a very good past record in terms of not firing their employees even at the difficult times. But if you are someone who is working for a startup company or for a mid cap company then please try to be sincere at your work as much as possible. Third will be an advice for all the people that try to reduce your expenses by focusing only on your fundamental needs. So if you were planning to buy an expensive mobile phone or to go on an expensive trip just because your other friend or colleague is going for that, please don't do it. Try to save yourself from all those unnecessary expenses that you can avoid easily. Next is try to have a minimum of three to six months of emergency fund if it is possible for you. Just try to imagine that people who have been laid off overnight, how helpful it will be for them if they already have an emergency fund of three to four months or maybe six months. They have a very good cushion or time period you can say that they can utilize in order to track or hunt for another job. And last and most importantly, please take care of your physical and mental health. It is very important that we stay efficient as much as possible physically and mentally both the aspects. I'm not sure if sharing these tips or ideas was a good decision on this forum but I really felt like sharing all these things and this is why I thought of going for it. So that is quite it for today. There were few things that I wanted to talk about and I felt that it is very important that we share some awareness among ourselves to make our community smarter and hopefully if you like watching this kind of content then please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like below to support my work. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm very active over there and more than happy to answer any kind of queries or questions you have around decision making in your career. I will try to be as responsive as possible. Thank you very much for your time today. See you in the next video.